Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin, and we are exploring the deep and dank underground of the cathedral, which we found the secret lever for. Strategic summoning. Strategic summoning? Oh shit! Dude, strategic summoning. That sounds amazing. S summon a command center. Yeah. Uh, this book describes various monster types and their known methods of attack. Very important knowledge indeed if you summon a monster and your protection fails. Okay. Fuck you, book. Oh, patty cake, patty cake. It's on the ground. You can read it. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. I would love to read it. Wow. It sounds horrible. So this is like an inner cathedral with a trap door here. And Leandra's diary. Behind this door. Don't you fucking dare put your fucking teleporter pyramid through that, you piece of shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> Just because <laughs> you right. can, doesn't mean you should. Wait, so I want to see if I can, and then I won't do it, alright? Fucking Necronomicon of openings. I'd love to read that. The Power of Belief. A rare secrets to open a hidden world of success. The book is curiously blank inside, alright. That's the thing is, I know you can. Well, I don't know I can until I can. This reminds me of like a place in Diablo 1, to be honest. I'm actually not sure I can. Oh man. Did, did Were you finally stumped? Could you finally not fucking cheat the game? Actually, let me talk to the rat. The walls did no favors for the decor. There's buttons on the walls. You could say a little rat told me. Haha. -ha. Can I get in there? Yeah. Don't need your shit right now. <laughs> you fucking need my shit. You not only need it, you want it. Well, that sounds like some little messaging if I ever, saw, if I ever heard it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, can we find- let's just find the buttons, because I'm pretty sure it's going to do the exact thing you're trying to do right now. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm looting. I- I- I'm onto your tricks. But my tricks are for kids. <laughs> uh, fuck you, you piece of shit. If you want- come on, you weren't expecting that? Alright. I, I got a meme for every occasion. Have you found any of the buttons yet? I'm not looking for buttons, I'm looking for fucking tricks. But you're not a kid. Fuck you. Oh, neither. Oh, uh, here's a button. I found one. Does anything seem different now? That's one. Alright. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. I wonder what that did. They're not really all that hidden, but I'm having trouble finding them all the same. Probably more somewhere else. You have to consider which way the game would like originally be uh, orientating. Oh, I found because another one. Because remember, the game originally was not meant to be viewed from a certain angle. Now to find out what effect that had. Do we just press all the buttons, or is there like an order? Do you think? You're just gonna find and press all the buttons. Been my guess. I don't, I don't know if that's the case. Like this is the enhanced edition. Yeah, but the enhanced edition was just like it's an upgrade of the original edition. But in the original edition, remember you could not, you could not, you did not have full range of the camera. It was like locked within the like a nine degree angle. I I don't remember that. So it just means that if it's going to be any of the buttons. It's probably going to be within that cone of like restriction. Yeah. Where's the other? I'm looking for the third button I had pressed before. Cause you press that one. Oh no no yeah, yeah here it is okay I see so 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 you're saying it's probably the way I'm looking right now which is like I'm facing north with my camera. I don't know. I'm looking for the fourth switch. Found it. Did you? Did that cause a Okay. Okay, I think you're supposed to go in order of how you go in the room, so I'm gonna do mine Fair first. Enough. You do Midora's next. 
turn yours? Uh, yeah, I'll do Joanne. Does anything and then you do yours. Now? I didn't do mine because I was asking if you did yours. Yeah, I did mine already. Shit. Okay, fine. I'll do it again. Okay. Did mine. Now, do Medora. Do Medora's. Yep. Did that cause then Joanne, and now you. Now? Well, that, 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 that did it. Okay, that was the solution. You're supposed to walk to each one. One to the next, because you'd enter the room for like the first time. Oh, target too far away. Joanne, get over here, you fucking piece of shit. Well, this way I'm gonna get the fucking book of the Immaculate 3. I, it's number four is the addition we need. Welcome. Six in there. Fuck. I must admit I'm rather disturbed by your presence here. Not because I fear you, no. Because I must assume that the goddess has willed us to meet like this. Like intimates in these holy chambers. Perhaps she wishes for you to see, Source Hunter. Perhaps she wishes for you to understand our way. Perhaps, perhaps, she has willed it time for our factions to walk side by side toward a new <laughs> beginning. <laughs> this ready? history of Source versus Hunter Maybe. is as long as it is gruesome. Aren't you tired of fighting? Uh, why do you make this make such, uh, make use of such a dark power source? So what if it is dark? What is so terrible about darkness? I ask you why a natural and neutral aspect of the cosmos, of our lives, can be banished. It is easy to view death or sacrifice as we practice it, as inherently negative. But the easy perspective is very infrequently correct. Why regard death, an utterly unavoidable aspect of our very natures, with fear and panic? Only by abandoning the fear of death do we truly live. You say source is dark. We say that to use it is to embrace the so-called darkness within each and every mortal. How can we deem an aspect of our very selves to be dark? Who decided that to die was a weakness, a failure, a tragedy? No. To die is to be completed. To kill them, to kill, is to carry this completion forward. What is the Immaculate's purpose? What goal are you working towards? Ah, uh, Source Hunter, this is what the Conduit fears you will never understand. For how could you? Your kind are agents of maintenance. You must keep the established order. You must enforce the existing laws. But what if everything you know is a mere shadow of what could be? What if you are regulating a system that is inherently broken? Though I doubt you will grasp this, Source Hunter. We Immaculates have come to believe that the life we live is no true life. And we seek to restore a better, more authentic existence. What sort of better existence do you mean? The original way, Source Hunter. The singular awareness that was once the void. Before we were wrenched apart by existence. Before we were separated into a million warring minds. And the time is nigh. Each sacrifice brings the void closer. Each bloodstone helps the conduit to call it nearer. What can you tell me about the conduit? She and she alone communicates with the goddess. She and she alone can bring the goddess intention to the ears of the faithful. Whether the goddess turns her eyes, the conduit is there to enact her will. Uh, I'll take my leave. And now do you see, Source Hunter? Do you understand that walking the Immaculate Path is the only way to conclude this experiment called existence? Do you see that to bring true balance, true equilibrium, we must rejoin one another in the void? And do you see why I cannot permit you to intervene in what is coming? Uh, okay, it might be a fight. <laughs> so, let's, uh, buff up, I guess. Ready? Alright. In the desert of faithlessness, only this can revive me. Yep. Oh, shit. These guys are back? Alright. Uh... Should we try and charm one of these guys, maybe? I'll try it. I'm not sure you can, but go ahead. Charm failed. Oh, I failed! percent yeah. I'll buff you up. 
Alright. Kick his ass. Hey, girl! I wanna give him the full blast. Okay, I'm wasting Aston point. I gotta do it. Full blast. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> oh, there goes the boss. Wow, he dropped a shit ton of stuff. A lug bow. <laughs> a snake bite, one handed weapon. To knee bream damage. Unlock skill, roll. wind up toy. Oh wow. man, fuck you! <laughs> I kind of want it. Maybe it's a, actually, that, that's probably... Maybe I could use that. Oh, I'll try I'm it after. Now. This is fucking Kellis, these guys. Alright, I'm gonna give you a... Frost Arrow on someone. Probably that big-ass fucking guy with wings. Zorum Zahar. Uh, bless you. Uh, thank you. Have not enough action ways to pick up snake bite. Alright, one sec. Let's do, uh. I was gonna do an ice shard. Yeah, here it is. Ice shard. Yeah, Stevens! <laughs> so if he walks, he'll probably slip. Actually, no, he has, like, massive bodybuilding. Maybe he wasn't the one to do that with. There's a lot um, of void supplica supplicants all over the place, by the way. There's four of them. I think I'm gonna wait with Medora. Because they'll bunch up. No, you should have done something. They're attacking actually. Medora like I give a fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! She actually got knocked down. Chester is this knocked down 40%. Only 40%? Actually, it's surprising me that team's name is not that high. What, what is her bodybuilding at? Did you get cursed? Extra 25% for bodybuilding? What the fuck? I think it's like two? <laughs> She's bleeding. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna stand next to Medora. <laughs> <laughs> no, you bad man. Dude, fucking Joan has fucking 90, like, oh wait, it's fucking 89, that's something different. And Joan doesn't give a fuck. He's got a ton of bodybuilding. Look, I give you a fuck, I got a ton of bodybuilding as well. Well, Medora's on the ground. Uh, I don't know if I can help her up, can I do that? Nah, she's fine. Yeah, I can't cure her knockdown. Don't worry about her, she'll be alright on the ground. I have, uh, I have two water wands, and what are these guys weak to? Water. All of them. Alright. I guess I'll focus these guys down. Holy shit. Nice crit. Fucking random crit. I'll punch that guy for the good old freezing arrow, I guess. Splash tag. Maybe use a water arrow. No, freezing. You don't even use the water arrows. Yeah, but I have like seven of them. She's knocked down for three turns. Don't you have anything to help her up? Nope. She'll be fine. She likes the floor. <laughs> okay. No glory in this death. Oh man, Joan's like, yes. Oh yes, the demon. The demons. Frozen. I'll shut my Save you for later. He's <laughs> like a fucking spider. I, I got I got nothing to help Medora with, so yeah. Or was this black? Like you ignored the fucking the big guy is on frozen now. Oh, he's on frozen. Oh, whatever. Maybe he'll slip. Let's find out. Lockdown <laughs> failed, so it's not impossible. Oh shit. I'm on my willpower. Hey, my door is back up. See, it's easy. Easy as one, two, three. I got this guy. Oh, oh shit. Spaghetti. Fuck. Spaghetti. Fuck. Mom, spaghetti. He's nervous. From the stuff he thinks <laughs> Drop spaghetti. <laughs> Don't drink to that. Oh, oh man. You dropped with the Joan. You're right, I should have pulled a fucking. I should have. I should have saved a grenade. 
fucking rip. Oh, my piercing grenades. So what did you What did you find in this room? I didn't loot it because I decided that you know it's much as books. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go look at Leander's diary. My eyes on the prize. Now this yeah, is soul. To my enlightened immaculate self, the word of Magoth that the instructions are to be read under the most dire circumstances have I come to pass. If I am dead, the Death Knights must be stopped. Our purpose is the achievement of specific ends, not the senseless destruction or tyranny. We, we seek true peace and peace is hard won. But I have crafted our Death Knights with the intention of securing our future, not conquering, conquering the helpless. Each Death Knight has been fused with a drop of my blood, and a blood and a drop of my blood can make them vulnerable. Take this vial and combine it with the spell I have crafted. Elsewhere stored, uh, the Death Knights may be subdued. If I am dead, it has it means I have failed you, and for this, my Immaculates, I am forever sorry. Yet in my absence, the Immaculates must dis uh, must spend without me. The Goddess is no longer listening. Okay, interesting. So if we kill the Andros, it's all over. Nice. Oh, dude. I'm giving you a whole bunch of shit, by the way. Dude, there's more. There's more books of the Immaculates. The fourth book, last volume. Uh, can higher, can a higher being deserve the blood of a human? The enlightened Immaculate will know the answer is yes. By sacrificing lesser humans, we gain the charge of experience. Okay, let's talk about sacrifices. Now that he is truly enlightened and immaculate knows what he must do, he must ascend to new levels of greatness by sacrificing increasing numbers of lesser humans. Okay, only a conduit herself, yeah. And sixth book is Immaculate is reading this tome. Be offered as a sacrifice to the conduit herself. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's down in the this place here. Oh, it's, dude, it's Leandra's headquarters. Nice. Augmenters, jars, dude, there's a shit ton of shit to loot here. <laughs> Lucky break. I think you're getting fucking. I don't even know if the jars are worth anything. I mean, Landra isn't going to be here, is she? Oh, she's got apple pie. A pristine letter. Pristine letter, here we are. Read. Madam Conduit, the scepter of control is quite complete. Using this wand, you will be able to dismantle the Death Knights. Aim this weapon at your target, and at your will, it will be reduced to shrapnel. So right. Leandrus devised a method for destroying Death Knights. That sounds more than promising. On a winning streak... Uh, thin volume, its pages made of unfamiliar material. Guardians fled. But the goddess of the source would not be crowed. She hurled the dragon away. Far away from the first garden. Uh, this is this is about us. Alright. Leandra is building an army in order to defeat Astarte and unleash the Void. Our friends on the homestead will want to hear this right away. We got a vial of Leandra's blood. And we, I think we have the spell too. So no, Mike, don't drink, drink that. <laughs> I know you want your health back, but stop. <laughs> no, I'm not full health. It's fine. I'll just save it. All right, there's also an annotated map. I think this might be a cutscene. A map oh, no. to the Source Temple in the Phantom Forest. Sounds like a location worth noting. Alright, so... A source... Okay, so what's the spell that we have as well, I'm wondering? Fucking vial of blood. The fuck is this helmet? Some call it luck. Others call it skill. Call to spell. Uh, it's to tear down barriers between rips. Did, I, did we not get the spell? Leandra's spell, here we are. Combined with that. Yeah, we just have that. We have the Death Knight Bane skill book. Holy shit. That's, uh, that's a fucking. 
big ass skill book. Okay, I'm gonna learn to use it. Oh, apparently, apparently, m many of us can use it. Excellent. I'm gonna go fucking kill some fucking assholes. All right, I'll give it to I'll give it to you now. The, the skill book. We might as well all we might as well all learn it. There's no reason for us not to. I gave you the skill book, by the way. I'm too busy looting. <laughs> You're like holy shit. So many brittle gold amulets and fortune bottles, man. But we can now we can actually kill the death knights now. Let's fuck some birds and death knights. Fuck yeah. Show them what what. Hey, there's a box there. There's jewelry boxes up there. What the fuck are you doing? Are you, are you crackhead, get up here. Yeah, I'm gonna loot them. I'm fine. Oh, dude, this had a shield in it. For you. <laughs> God damn it! Metal scraps. That's for Joanne. And a knightly lance. Oh, dude, did you see what the fuck? Did you loot all the shit from the the guy? What guy? The uh, what's his name? Um, the, the thing that gives you the, the toy, the, the dagger, that gives you that ability. Try it out. Oh, you're ready to try it out? Sure, I'll just... Yeah, you're the only one with dexterity. I want to see it. I want to see it. Put that dagger on right now, fucker. Where is it? Fucking sitting here somewhere. There it is. You need to see what that does. For science. Let's see, yeah, it has a really high AP use because I have low scoundrel, but it's fucking use wind up toy. Oh shit, you made one of these things? I'm gonna die here. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I equip the bow? I mean, the the thing now. I mean, you summed it, so it's fine. Alright. I look forward to it dying and blowing us all up. I'm too slow to get away. Try to win Kill your hand! Kill your hand! <laughs> oh man. It's fine, I disarmed it. That's just a, it's just a nice scoundrel thing. Is there anything else that was good that we got from that, uh... Not that really, place? honestly. Okay. So we made the spell, and that car can point us in the direction as our next step towards defeating Leandra. Yeah, that's basically it for that. I'm gonna take looking around here looking for anything I missed. Well, I want to go to the end of time, so... I'll come with, actually. Let's go. Oh, you you didn't get the enlightened amulet? Fuck. I've got my eyes on the prize. Where are you at? <laughs> I'm slow. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna take us to the um. Let's go to the end of time then. I can uh. I think I got a couple more minutes to talk to these characters. Because we spent a lot of time on that fucking switch puzzle. What the fuck happened here? What the fuck's going on? I think something's happening to the end of time. Damon, Damon, Shut up. Alright. Hello so again. Not angry about the tea, are you? Uh, you getting along alright? Much better than a goblin. Right, he's not telling me anything new. We are haunted by the same vision, my friend. The end of all visions. What's what the word, Source Hunter? Alright, what's next? How do we stop Leandra? It seems you're more than caught up, aren't you? You've already got the spell in the blood, both of which will need, if the spell is to be believed, to slice through Leandra's army of death knights. Remarkable. That means we've only to find Zandalur now. Uh, let's discuss my pursuit of Zandalar. Long ago, when Source was banished, a league of great men and women promised to protect its secrets. The keepers of the Source, they called themselves. Our wizard is its last living member. That night in the King Crab Inn, Leandro was after something that only he knew. Find him, and you'll learn where to find her. Leandra... Who's Leandra again? Is that the is that the conduit, or I guess he lives I don't know. in Hunter's Edge. Oh, he lives in Hunter's Edge. East of Lukula. When last I saw him, he was in a panic about Leandra's betrayal. It's possible that he'll have flown Hunter's Edge, 
You may need to investigate to find a hint of his whereabouts. Take this ring, it will mark you as my ally. If you should find Zandalor, he'll know I sent you. Okay. I must tell you a book about Leandra's called The Forgotten Gods. So that's her plan. She intends to summon Astarte and the Void Dragon and overwhelm the goddess with an unstoppable army. With Astarte gone, there will be nothing to stop the Void from consuming all of Rivalon. Our mission is greater than us. Greater than Leandra, Source Hunter. It is a quest to save all of existence from eternal blackness. Her plan must not succeed. Sister, sister, what have you done? Uh, let's discuss the soul, soul forge between you two. I cannot condone the terrible things she's done, but I can seek to understand them. Death again. Talk more, to her about this. I sense a terrible. If yeah, I could only yeah. How about the Mac the Temple? You're two steps ahead of my sister, Source Hunter. That spell you've crafted will render her army utterly vulnerable. She'll not be able to hide behind Tenebrium and dark magic for long. Let's discuss the mines. God's death knights, this is dreadful news. Worse than I could have expected. Death knights are a terrible sign, Source Hunter. Historically, they indicate their maker's intention to wage total war. Death knights are impervious to attack, you see. The perfect soldiers. Fortunately, you're two steps. Yeah, she said that several times now. Right, it's exactly. Fire, brimstone, ash, and chaos. While that demon rages on in the cooler north, our simple shelter plane will be brought to uh, simple ruin. Adapted you on my progress. Maybe you a thing or two uh, about we the know about all this. Actually, wait. How about the book, true, the book dealing, detailing your plans? You? Most wonderful. <laughs> Could I have a quick read? Hmm, yes. Crikey, Dragon of the Void. Hmm? She doesn't mess around now, does she? The Temple of the Source. I've heard of such a place buried deep within the forbidden confines of a cursed phantom forest. That is where your travel should take you, east of the Lakula Woods, even though death hangs over that place like a ghostly fog. But first, you should go to Hunter's Edge, the village that borders those haunted woodlands. That is where Xandalore lives. The wizard Leandra is hunting. He is knowledgeable of the source, and his capture by the Void Seekers would be catastrophic indeed. Why can't? All right. I don't think there's much more else here. The shelter point is under attack. The tapestry of the time Emperor has not been struck by flaming debris as yet. But time is long enough to consider all possibilities. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I might set a cut up for a second. Uh, are, you, are you outside I the game now? I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter. I'm just going to come back in. Alright. Player joined. Oh, I have Tell the door. Alright. So... If there's nothing else we can unlock here, um, then honestly, the only thing we can really do at this point is uh, carry on to uh, back to that forest that I saw earlier. The Phantom Forest. Um, yeah. The, the only other thing is we could we could wrap up everything that's like try and do that troll quest that's in that's in Silver Glen. Do you want to do that? Maybe. Yeah, well, we'll go to yeah. Silver. We'll go to Silver Glen because sure. there's a guy. I think we gotta talk to there. Uh, let me take us over there. If I can fucking read it. Also, I have no idea what the deal with those chests are that we have to open. So just, I'm, huh? I guess we just find all the chests in all the areas. Uh, there's I'd, probably one in the cellar. There's probably one in High Behind. Well, that's probably one in the Phantom Forest. Be my guess. Right. So just find them all those areas and you get the last chest. Well, I don't know. We haven't found one yet. They no, found one. Did we? Yeah, you found one in Slicey. It's right in this town. What? What? What did it do though when you pressed it? It gave me a letter. Oh. Well, there's a guy named Brandon somewhere. I don't know where he is though. And also, technically. Technically, there's uh, that Nadia. Doesn't look like your best work there, dear. You're tired, aren't you? 
I don't know. I don't know if we can continue with Nadia about her fucking uh, proof of the rot stuff. Need her help proving Lawrence encouraged. How goes search? Oh, I am ready to hang that. How you say, uh, son of lady dog? I will do my best to give answers, source hunter. Talking about Lawrence. strike him down. Yeah, there's there's absolutely nothing she has to tell me about that. Oh, the, the guys here set up. I guess they're the blacksmith now. Did they sell anything to you? Welcome, your night ship. Hope be I haven't checked, indeed. actually. As you can see, we have set up shop here in Silverblade. You slowed. And as a matter of course, you'll crippled. get my wares at prices that no one else has a right to claim from me. Your wounds. Oh, dude, there's one. There's braces that give you a plus one to crossbow crafting dexterity. <laughs> like, oh, dude, there's, there's plus one to bow gloves. With HP, holy shit, those look good. I was looking at this guy's stuff. Alright. So, so, I'm just gonna. I don't know. Uh, this is so She's alive on. and kicking, my liege, just like she always was. Oh, certainly she can be a. Hand. Okay, there's nothing I wanna to talk to. Okay, go, go ahead. My, my. I see you up here and everything brightens. Okay, nothing I wanna to talk to these people about. Yeah, fun with that. He's another vendor. Oh joy. Let me look at the map for a sec. Yeah, so literally it's just portal to the mines. I don't know what we have to finish in the mines, but whatever. You stay a while, I'm, I'm gonna look for Brandon. Oh, here's Brandon. Source hunter, are you? What brings you to this neck of the woods? The goblins? The orcs? The cult? Or the whole pretty bouquet. Tell me about yourself. Don't be surprised if you hear more than a few unkind words about yours truly around town. An overseer's got to enforce his share of unpopular guild decisions, you know. I'm finished with this one pony rodeo, though. I did my best by these roughnecks. And now it's time for old Brandon to take a load off. In fact, you may be able to help speed my retirement plan along. Let's hear the details. Oh, I knew a source hunter perk up at the sound of a challenge. All right, let's discuss your retirement plan. Oh, Between you and me, the troll king's sitting on a piece of treasure of more value than even he knows. A metal called tenebrium that can fetch a prettier sum than its weight in gold. I intend to lift it, sell it, and live out the rest of my days in comfort. The devil's in the details, though, and I haven't managed to find a way to access the king's cave, much less make off with the stuff without being noticed. But you're a source hunter. You can sniff out any point of mystery. So let's make a deal, hmm? You find the tenebrium and bring it to me, and I'll deliver you a few pieces of information about Silverclin, and Lardens in particular, that are sure to make your mouth water. Ah, right, this is a good way to solve two quests. I wouldn't wish the wrath on me worst enemy, though. So let me give you a little something to contain the tenebrium bars. It's lined with the fragments of a special stone that keeps rats' ill effects at bay. Uh, time about the Troll King. Apart from Gungir's stature and incurable case of the uglies, it's not so different from a parakeet. Got a brain the size of a pea and a fervent passion for all things bright and shiny. The Nutty Oaf sits on a river of silver beneath these mines, but leases it to the mining company for a fraction of its worth in gold. He'd rather put those hefty minions of his on toll duty than mine these hills himself for five times the reward. I can't be certain myself where his cave is located, but at least one of those Oaf lackeys of his must know where to look. They've got to do something with all the gold they've gathered in the course of guarding those damn bridges, haven't they? Uh, for the I'm questions. no man to refuse a source hunter. You know anything about a miner named Ben? I remember him well. Decent man, strong-backed, with something of a funny accent, no? He managed to leave Silver Glen alive, but as I recall, the symptoms of wrath were already upon him. All right, we're done. All right, let's see. Troll's bounty. Well, so he wants us to steal to see him from, from back dealers, are we? the Troll King. All right. Then the next person I want to talk to, where are you? What? Tenebrium may well prove to be a incalculable value to us. Because you're the answer to all my prayers. Unfortunately, still includes you. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna go. 
I'm gonna go to. Yes, sweet cheeks. Oh, um, I wanna go. I wanna go to that fucking troll at the uh, at that bridge. Would be better if you'd glance in my direction, All right. though. Where is he at, though? Where did he go? For a particular plan of mine to pan out. Where would he come from? Where did he go? Uh, Goblin Village is a good place to go, actually, for that. Goblin Why don't you stay a while? All right, so I'm gonna. He's the one I think is we're supposed to go to, to basically, because I've heard it before. We were supposed to talk to him, and he was gonna help us in. I should, I should probably end the episode now. Yeah, I probably should. All right, next episode we'll fucking talk to the troll and shit. So see you later, guys. Bye. Toodaloo.